today during class we were talking about theories and laws. Uh, uh, most people think they start off thinking that a theory, if it gets, that theory is really just like an educated guess, uh, and that if we get enough evidence, the theory eventually becomes a law. Unfortunately, that's that's the misconception that most people have. Uh, theories and laws are actually two different kinds of of, of ideas. Um, they're definitely related to each other, but they are different. A theory explains how and why something happens. Uh, this is a simplified version, of course. Uh, well, as the year goes on, we'll get more and more in depth. And then a law describes what happens. We spent some time in class talking about the difference between how and what. Uh, how is kind of like the way something works. What is is more of like a it tells it, it describes the things that happen. Um, an example that we had is that is that uh, Blake failed the test. Okay. That's more of a what question. It doesn't really tell us why she failed the test, it just tells us that she failed the test. Um, of course, Blake didn't fail the test. <laughs> we haven't even taken a test yet. Blake didn't study and has been gone. Now, one class period pointed out that this is also kind of a what question. It is a what question that it, it tells us that Blake didn't study. That's a what. Uh, however, we can use this what to explain this one. And so in, in, a, in a way, this, this statement, Blake didn't study and, and has been gone, explains this other law. Of course, these aren't laws and theories, but they are, they're, they're just serving as an example. Um, over with the tubes, we, we noticed that when we pulled on one string, all the other strings came in. No matter how, how, the, how far the strings were out, this, the other strings came in. That, that's actually talking about a, a what. It tells us what happens. It talks about a relationship between the strings. And so the way that we explain how or why that happens is this drawing where we, we had the, the strings being inter the one string across the top, one string across the bottom, and a ring in the middle. And so that tells us why, so that's really the theory. Now the interesting point about that is that the more interesting of those two is the why. That was the part that we were focusing all our efforts on. Uh, I don't want to say that laws are easy to come up with, but oftentimes they're, uh, they're, they're, they come first, and then the explanation, the why, the how, comes later. A couple of things I wanted to point out from, from classes that theories do not become laws. They explain and use laws to explain why other laws work. That's, that's kind of a complex idea, but it, what, it, what it's showing is that a theory has a lot of evidence and, it, and does, has a certain purpose, and a law has a lot of evidence and has a certain purpose. So because they have two different purposes, they can't become each other. Both can have a lot of evidence. A theory might be, might, some theories actually have more evidence than some laws. And so this idea that a theory becomes a law with more evidence isn't true. They have different functions. It's like one, one example that a student came up with is that it's like a finger becoming a thumb. They're both related. That when you use together, they're very powerful. But a finger doesn't become a thumb and a thumb doesn't become a finger. Even if a thumb is extra long, it's still a thumb because of its location. Uh, and so, but used together, that was the interesting analogy. Used together, theories and laws are powerful tools for explaining the natural world. A couple other things I wanted to point out: that theories and laws have different purposes. We already talked about that, and theories are actually more useful. A lot of times, you know, the argument that I use is that theories uh, tell us why things happen, for what reason. Uh, for example, an example might be with gravity. We know how fast things will fall. We know that they fall, but we don't, we're not entirely sure, there's not an accepted theory of gravity. We don't know why they fall. And so that's actually something that scientists are working on. Uh, I think that pretty much covers everything. The key, the key point to sum up is that theories do not become laws. And that's, that's, the, that's the misconception that most people have. Most people think that a theory gets more evidence, it becomes a law. Well, and that's not true. What happens is that if a theory gets more evidence, it becomes a more well-supported theory. Same with a law. It becomes a more well-supported law. Both are open to change and revision, but they cannot become each other.